Hello, and welcome to another edition of Potluck, your everything and anything talk and entertainment TV show. My name is Laura Hartman, and I am your host. Today, we have a very special guest joining us whose motto is, live life at the top of the peak. He's the owner of Dante's Peak Performance and is a teacher of health, wellness, fitness, and spirituality. So please welcome to the show, Dante Baker. Welcome, ba um, Dante. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Doing very well. Good to be so here. Um, tell us, how did you get involved with Dante's Peak Performance and um, tell us all that you do, which yeah. you do a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do a lot. I have a lot of tools in my toolbox. Yeah. Uh, but I really got inspired to do something more than just exercise. I've been a personal trainer for seven years at the YMCA, mm -hmm. and I was teaching exercise classes, doing one-on-one -on -one group training, and I really enjoyed it, but I wanted to expand a little bit more, go a little bit deeper with movement. Okay. So I wanted to learn Qigong and Tai Chi and the Eastern philosophy of holistic healing. Okay. So I started to get into acupuncture and also Tui Na, which is an ancient form of Chinese body work. So they incorporate acupressure, they incorporate bone setting, they incorporate uh, Chinese uh, body work, uh, working with the muscle tissues. Uh -huh. And it was just really fascinating for me. And the person I went to go see was Dr. Akmal Milwaukee, who's in Mar Maryland. And every time I, I went there, we would, we would do a lesson. It would be like an eight hour uh, long day. And but before that, we would do Qigong, and I was like really fascinated. I felt the energy flow within my body, and, and like these very simple movements with the hands, uh -huh. I felt very centered and calm, and I felt tingling sensations with my hands. I was like, what is this, Dr. Akamal? And he's like, this is Qigong. And I was like, I'm really fascinated. <laughs> so after that, I uh, learned from a man named Nianzo Li. Now, he comes from China, mm -hmm. and he came here in, in the 80s, and he's been teaching Qigong Tai Chi for a very, very long time. So is the name like all together Qigong Tai Chi? Uh, so is it well, like Qigong, Qi means energy. Okay. So it's energy, mm -hmm. life force, it's energy that's within the body, that's surrounding us, that's in nature, it's, it's everywhere. And Gong means the practice of. Okay. So it's just the practice of moving energy within the body. Oh, okay. And Tai Chi is a different form. So it's an internal martial arts form. Mm -hmm. And there's 24, 48, there's so many different forms of Tai Chi. Um, but Qigong is the main. And then when you have Qigong, there's other different types of exercises. So there's standing static exercises that you do that just helps you focus on the internal energy that's in the body. Mm -hmm. There's different animal styles that you can do, walking animal styles. And these, these, these movements has been around for like thousands of years, right. uh, 5,000 years. And it was mainly to help you know, energize, heal the body. Um, because in Asia, they didn't have you know, all the technology that we have today. They had herbs and they also, they knew, they inter internally knew that we can heal ourselves. So they knew that the mind and the body has to be connected somehow. So they focus mainly on the breath. Okay. So in Qigong, you're really, that's the difference between just exercising and Qigong is you're focused on the breath, the movements, and you're, all, you're also trying to calm your mind. So it's very calming and very relaxing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so, um, so you do classes, correct? Yes. Okay. I teach classes in mm -hmm. Herndon, Manassas, um, but the one I'm really trying to promote is in Herndon. It's, in, it's called Heaven and Earth a keto studio. Okay. So I teach there on Sundays at 4.30. Okay, and how long are your classes? In uh, about an hour, hour and a half. So okay. first I try and get people into a meditative state. So I, I use crystal bowls and Tibetan bowls. So the crystal bowls and the Tibetan bowls, they've been a lot around for thousands of years as well. And mm -hmm. it's amazing because they produce this sound and you can feel it within your body when you, when you hear it. And it's different notes, but it oscillates up and down. So you may str it strikes, and then you may hear a couple different pitches, some sounds, and it's amazing if you if you understand that if you strike a violin uh -huh. and you have a, another violin right next to it, the other violin will play the same note. If you just strike one violin, really. Mm -hmm. So that's what's happening with the Tibetan bowls is that when it's being played, the sound that's it's omitting. It's coming within your body and it's balancing out. 
the so energy. It's like the vibration. Yeah, it's balancing out the energy within okay. your body. So later on, I'm going to tell you each bowl and what emotion that it works on. Okay. So it's it's pretty amazing. Now, do you play these when you're doing your qigong? So I play them in the beginning, so okay. just to get people in a really me meditative state. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people they come from working environments where they feel stress, they have a lot of anxiety. Um, some people feel depressed, and they come into that space with all that energy bottled up into them. So I really take people to sit them down and play the bowls for them, and they can okay. really feel the energy, and their emotions will start to come up and out. And okay. I also do affirmations while I'm playing the crystal bowls. Okay, what kind of affirmations? Like? Um, really positive affirmations. So okay. when I'm playing, for example, the F note, the uh -huh. F note connects to the heart. Okay. So I'll you know, say some affirmations about love, kindness, empathy, generosity, all, mm -hmm. that, all that, those emotions come from the heart. So when you're speaking these affirmations, you're really getting into their subconscious mind because when you're playing the crystal bowls, you get into the, the alpha and the theta state. Okay. So when you're in that state of mind, those brain waves, you're easily able to bring in the affirmations and it becomes your subconscious. Oh, very so, cool. Yeah. So there's a note for every part for of your every body? For every part of your body, yes. Yeah. So, so there's seven different uh, points. They right. call them chakra Chakras. points. Mm -hmm. And each each point in the body has a certain note that you can play. Uh -uh. So, for example, the pineal gland. This is a, a gland that's right here. They call it the third the eye. Mm -hmm. And that connects to the A note. And okay. what happens is, is that when you're able to tap into that energy, then you're able to almost clear out the cobwebs you know, from your mind. Some people feel a little bit cloudy here. Uh -huh. They feel uh, distorted. <clears throat> or they feel like they can't think straight, they have, may, may have issues with memory, or they may, may not be able to sleep so much. Right, right. Um, melatonin helps with sleep. Right. So when you're tapping into that, that chakra, that energy point, then with the bowl, it really helps with the melatonin and balance things out. And with the DMT, when you're sleeping, you get different dreams. And with those dreams, it, it comes with mess messages as well too. Um, but some people can have a little bit too many dreams. Okay. And what can happen is it can really disturb your sleep and you may feel extra tired when you wake up. So it's just okay. like, uh, but <clears throat> we really need to balance out those, the dream life and the dream world. And also too, so that's why I use the, that A bowl. Okay. So it really helps people get <clears throat> in a calm state of mind. People are able to sleep better in the class mm -hmm. and just using different bowls that I have. Now, for somebody like okay with a sleep issue, mm -hmm. um, should they play music like that's an A note? Yeah, they would can. help them to go to sleep. Yeah, or absolutely. To sleep better. Yeah, okay. I, I okay. recommend that, uh -huh. and also to just doing deep breathing exercises okay. really help. Sure. Um, what I find is that when people are able to move the chi within the body by doing different exercises, mm -hmm. you know, when you when you hear, you move the energy up. And there's different sens uh, sensory energies that's in the body. So here in the mind, here in the heart, and here in the lower. So what happens is it's called the three dantians. So when you're moving the energy, you're connecting the three minds. Okay. And you're creating a balance within the body. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it helps people with sleep, depression. Um, also, too, it helps with your immune system. Right. Your immune okay. system, um, joint issues, pain. Qigong does so much. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, up until meeting you, I'd never really heard of Qigong. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you hear about Tai Chi all the time, but the, the combination sounds... It's amazing. It, it really cool. helps people. At, and also, when you're getting, when you're outside in that environment, you're uh -huh. able to really feel and be more sensitive to nature. Okay. Because that's, that's what's happened in the West, is we, we become desensitized to nature. And that's where disease comes from is disease, dis-ease means not at ease. So that means that there's a blockage within the energy system, within the energy um, body. And what you need to do is with Qigong, that unblocks it because your, your mind's focused on the breath and then you can feel like certain parts mm -hmm. that are blocked. Right. And you can really move that with your mind. Oh, wow. So it's, Qigong is self-healing. It's like self-reiki. A lot of people okay. are hearing about Reiki, right. and everyone's getting into it, giving people Reiki, but what about self-Reiki, healing yourself? 
So that's what I'm the advocate of, is, okay. is healing okay. the self. So explain more about the self-reiki. So, How does that work? Well, it, it's <laughs> like Qigong. So, okay. Okay. so what you're doing is with the, um, Qigong works with the, the five elements in the yin yang. Mm -hmm. So the five elements, it's fire, water, earth, metal, and wood. Mm -hmm. and, those energy, and those elements connect to a certain organ. And those organs have certain meridian lines. It's like a pathway. It's almost like a, a river. You can think of it as a river. Mm -hmm. And if something's blocked, like a dam, let's say a, a beaver built a dam, right. you need that water will just build up and build up, and that's when you get pain. And that's where you get certain diseases, and it goes deeper and deeper into the bone. But what you have to do is, with Qigong, that blocks it. Mm -hmm. And that's giving yourself self uh, reiki, okay. self energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, very cool. Absolutely. So um, you said that you would give us a, a sample of your Tai Chi and Qigong. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So a couple exercises that mm -hmm. I'd like to show you is, like I said, we're working with the three energy bodies. So there is this one point that's right here. Mm -hmm. It's a lower Dantian point, and it connects the lower back. A lot of people have lower back issues, yes. and they don't know like where it's coming from. People can either be jogging incorrectly or sitting in the chair incorrectly and they feel issues in the, in the kidney or in the lower back but it's really the kidney point and what happens is is that you need to unblock it so you just bring the energy here and then you move it out moving it in and moving it out okay you're breathing yeah, with your mouth closed yeah, yeah, and then breathing, breathing out in. with your mouth open. Exactly. So okay. that gets the energy moving easier. Okay. So the lower Dantian is the, it's like the elixir of energy. It's the holder. It's the place. So that's where the energy goes. And then with the mind, that's the, that's the place where you observe. That's where we're observing, we're judging, we're analyzing. Mm -hmm. But you have to get your mind to just be aware of the energy. So it's just more just perceiving and not judging, not thinking. So okay. a lot of people work and that's like that's their life but when you come into qigong you just want to be observing and just just seeing and just feeling sen being sensitive sure to the energy um, and not over analyzing um, and with the heart the heart is the best place to really be because what happens is there's this energy that really helps circulate both the mind and and the lower energies and it creates this force like this so what you're doing here is you're breathing in and you're breathing out, connecting your sense, your, the elixir of energy, and mm -hmm. then the observing, the mind here. Okay. So this helps also too with people who have allergies because a lot of people, they have, uh, when you're transitioning into winter and fall, then that's, you're transitioning into different elements. So you have to be able to move that chi okay. easier. So, so a lot of, right now, there's a lot of people suffering from allergies. Well, allergies, exactly. So okay. a, another thing, too, is that there's, like I said before, there's different points on the body. Uh -huh. So this point right here is like the lung point. So what happens is if you bring your hands here and you move it up to the clavicle, mm -hmm. then you're able to move that energy point, which is, helps with the lungs. So I'm working with this woman. She has asthma. And we've, been, we've had maybe five or six sessions, and her asthma has cleared up a lot. Wow. Just by moving this energy point. Now, when you're moving the energy, do you like, have to like, kind of visualize, you can visualize energy it. moving? Or Absolutely. Can you <laughs> so yeah, you're visualizing it. So you can have a, a basic, I give people a basic outline of where the energy centers are. Mm -hmm. And then what happens is they visualize it, they can see it in their mind's eye, and it, it does move. You really feel it. Okay. So, and, it, and what happens is you can even like rub right here on this point. Right here? Yeah, right here. Uh -huh. And then sometimes there might be a little pain. So like right here. Uh-huh. Do you feel that? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I feel pain. that a lot. Yeah, it's painful. <laughs> right, right. So with, with pain, that's just an indication of blocked energy. Oh, yeah, okay, so, when so you I'm feel blocked. Pain, so, <laughs> so a little bit. So that means that w what happens is if you just move the energy up. Okay then that gets unblocked. So you're able wow. to do self-healing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's different energy um, movements that helps with the lungs. So you're bringing energy into the lungs, filling it up, and then moving it. 
Now, how long do you like recommend like you what you do this on a regular basis like, yeah. in the morning? Like you wake up, do it yeah. for like 15, 30 minutes. I would say an if hour. you do at least 10 minutes a day, uh -huh. then you will feel a difference. Okay. So, but I usually give people like we do an hour class, but 30 minutes on your own is sufficient. Okay. Mm -hmm. You okay. really feel. They will feel the, the energy move, and whatever problems they have, either if it's arthritic pain, um, immune system issues, they will definitely feel that uh, clear up. There was a one um, interview that I, that I saw with a woman that had Parkinson's disease. Okay, I, I hate to cut this short, oh, but we fine. are already running out of time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Dante is going to be playing his musical. Uh, healing bowls. Healing bowls. I'll uh, talk about each one of them. Okay. And then I'll, I'll give you guys right. an in interview. Okay. And for more information about Dante and how you can take his classes, you can go to Dante's Peak mm -hmm. .com. Mm -hmm. And if you're just tuning in now, make sure you catch up on the web at www.potluck online.org. And you can watch other videos of our shows. And so let's watch Dante. Thank you, bowls. thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs>
Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Thank you very much.